ladies and gents, Captain Destas here with another edition of Captain Destas Q&A. If you're not familiar with the show, it's probably because you are not subscribed to my personal channel. Today's episode brought to you by Homosexual Orangutan Juice. Buy yours today. What? Well, the title you guys chose for this week's Q&A is Destry's Home for Imaginary Friends. Well, apparently, I own and operate a retirement home for the elderly who do not actually exist, is what I got out of that. Don't worry, guys, I'm not fucking crazy. So thank you, the mega cutie, for your title. I bet you're so mega cute. Well, firstly, we're gonna get into some form spring questions. Remember, if you wanna leave me a form spring question, link in the description. So the first question, is Lexi awesome? Oh my god, Lexi is so awesome. If you don't know Lexi, there's fucking something wrong with you. If you don't know Lexi, what are you doing watching this video? Lexi is so damn cool that if you place her next to Mr. Freeze, Mr. Freeze would say, Die, bitch, use cold. Who is Lexi, you ask? I have, I have no idea. Alexandria QQ asks, Is Del Taco better than Taco Bell? How? Dare you compare those two establishments? If you even want to call Del Taco an establishment, I would rather eat the inside out anus of a water buffalo than step foot in Del Taco. Del Taco for me is like tricycling up a pyramid backwards while a cheetah is playing the recorder pissing into a moving van. It will not happen. The last time I was in Del Taco, the guy actually knew me and he said, I don't want to see Del Taco in any more of your videos. But what I have to say to you, Mr. Del Taco asshole, is how am I supposed to be quiet when you serve children? children's diapers to the public. I wasn't aware that diarrhea in a diaper was on your menu, but every time I go in there, that's what I get. <laughs> Destry, will you do the next part of the video with Nathan? Sure thing. Here we go. Hey Nathan, nice shirt, bro. What you got there? I got myself a guitar, Destry. Oh, <laughs> great. Are you gonna play us a song or something? That was my original plan. I was okay. gonna play a song for you guys. Go for it. I've actually spent a lot of time effort writing this. Here's a song that I wrote for you, Destry. <laughs> Nathan Owens, everyone. Awesome. Really good. Make sure to watch my Q&A on my channel. Now we're going to bounce late into some Twitter questions. And if you're not following me on Twitter, you're not awesome. So go do that right now. Link in the description. Destry, if you could date one of the Disney princesses, which one would it be? I'd probably date Sleeping Beauty. You see, with most princesses, you have to go and rescue them for you to even get some, right? Sometimes, not even then. Do you ever hear of Mario scoring with Princess Peach? Because I sure the fuck don't. So Sleeping Beauty is perfect for me because she wouldn't put up a fight when I'm feeling her up in her sleep. <laughs> yeah, Sleeping Beauty. Like when I feel your titties, you can't tell because you're asleep. And if I couldn't have Sleeping Beauty, then I'd probably pick that new black princess from the Princess and the Frog. Why? Because something about her tells me she knows karate. What that has to do with anything, I don't know. Destry, what is your sex face slash noise? If you aren't turned off by this point in the video, I would suggest you just rewatch the last five seconds. I'm glad you're here from YouTube so I can make foolish faces and noises. A user named I Love Destry Ha. Wait, that's my name. Destry, what is a word that makes you completely revolted? As odd as it sounds, it is and always will be pamphlet. It doesn't even seem like it should be a word. Pamphlet. Pamphlet. It honestly sounds like the evolved form of the Pokemon fan feed. And I don't even like that Pokemon. Seriously, every time someone asks me for a fucking pamphlet, this is what I say. Excuse me, sir. I'm with the Kingdom Hall of Jehovah's Witnesses. Would you enjoy this pamphlet? <laughs> if you were president for a day, what law would you pass and why? Well, I think Colonel Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist said it best. When I'm sure, there will be changes. That day, all female officers will be required to wear tiny mini skirts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hannah T. Bradley asks, Destry, is Nathan a good father? Well, of course he is. Steven is as happy as a butterfly. Fucking baby! Oh, I hate you! Oh, shut up! Fuck you, baby! Hey, Nathan. How's it going? What, what was going on there? Oh, nothing. I was just putting Steven to bed. Okay. So that's gonna do it for Twitter questions. People, you're gonna wanna hold on to your socks for this one. Oh no! My socks! I should have held on to them! Kitty wants to tell you all that we have two video response questions of the day. Well, as Kitty said, we have two video response questions of the day. So the first video response question, let's roll it, baby. Hi, Destry, my name is Tara. My question for you 
is, is there ever a time that you feel not confident in yourself? And if so, what do you do to overcome that? Well, thank you so much for your question. And uh, to be honest, I myself am not confident as a person. Like every time I put up a video or something, I always feel like someone is not going to like them or not going to watch them. But what really helps my confidence out is knowing that everyone is afraid of something at one point, whether it be a fear of rejection or a fear of the consequences that come along with that. But the way I see it is if we never take risks to overcome our fear, are we ever truly living? Yeah, I hope that helped out a little bit with that confidence thing. But the second video response question of the day, let's play that bitch right now. Hi, so my question is, when you were little, what did you want to like do when you grew up? Well, thank you for your question. And uh, when I was little, I wanted to be a samurai. A samurai! Which is really not that exciting compared to Nathan wanting to be an ice cream truck driver. Like, here we all are at a high school reunion one day. Some guy comes up to me and is like, Hey, hey, Destry! Long time no see! It's Bob! The guy who used to shove your head in toilets! Yeah, how's it going, man? Yeah, I'm a janitor now. What do you do? I am a samurai. Honor runs through my veins. Okay, is that slant eye thing really necessary? My, my wife is Asian, so it kind of is offensive. My justice will be swift and mighty. Okay, you're really racist, doesn't it go? Hey, let's go want some ice cream! No. All right, well, thank you so much both for your video response questions. And remember, if you want to leave some more video response questions, leave it to this video. And it might be featured on next week's Q&A video, which will be on my personal channel again. So the annotation will be right here to go check that out. And uh, just showing you guys what you're missing on the personal channel. If you guys want to leave a title suggestion in the comments below, the one that gets the most thumbs up will probably maybe not be the comment that I pick to be the title. So I hope that you like this video. And fair wins, you two! Mmm, I'm at the caramel part. You're a bitch. Mm.